Thanks for doing well. Welcome back. Just a little quick peek around the tanks today. Um, I really, really like this tank. Uh, the glass on it, it's like a black glass with black silicone. It's still an older tank, but it really, really has a quality look to its, uh, to its glass. This previous owner really looked after it too. There's almost no scratches. You get a real clear water look with it. Very nice tank. One of my favorites, even though I, it's really not good enough for discus. It's uh, really good for, for some silver dollars and an Oscar, which is my second favorite mix of fish. So. And we come over here. Oh no, the lights just went blue. Little late in the videos today. Been busy. Well, here's Alfie and uh, decided to try him on a piece of cucumber. I just used a stainless steel hose clamp to weigh it down because I don't want anything getting jammed up in my uh, my intake. So. And he's been on it since I put it in. He went straight to it. He's like, food. And I'm going to have to keep giving him cucumber and stuff because this tank doesn't have any life in it. So, uh, But, yeah, he's happy to be eaten. And he'll probably eat that whole thing. Like, tomorrow I'll show you. We'll see where that's at. There's a little... Little mouth working away there. I might be scaring him. Apparently he sees very well. And that's, you know, how the fish room is looking for now. And I got all the rest of the, the black painted uh, steel done. So we don't have to look at that ugly blue warehouse look. Now it just looks like an aquarium stand. the first time you saw it you might think it's an aquarium stand I'm going to be uh, building up some supports down here now and finishing out the uh, floor here I'm going to be closing up this hole and uh, I might even put some board back there although I don't need to because I'm keeping the tanks in line here and the back space is just for you know I'll stick pumps and things on those boards back there but, uh, and the plan is 30 gallon, 15 gallon, hope it all fits. I think I can do it. Um, almost broke the 15 gallon moving it. And bumped it on the washing machine. Thankfully it didn't break, but any harder and that would have been a catastrophe. Uh, this tank still holds heat good. Warms up, uh, warms up as good as the 90 gallon does. I'm not really having any trouble that way. We'll see what happens come winter, mind you, because it gets a bit chilly down here. Well, this room is heated, and I just have to cover up the door. Uh, the other side of the basement gets a little cool, but once I get, I'll put a big uh, moving blanket over the door here and trap the heat. I think it's going to be just fine. Uh, so, yeah, 30 gallon, 15 gallon, that's my next project. And, of course, I have to get more of these installed down here. At the same time, that's that's coming. There'll be a few more of these coming down here. And uh, that's that's where we're at down here for now. I love that view right there. It's just coming like coming right along. Here we are upstairs. Everybody seems to be feeling a lot better today. That one guy that was staying in the middle there. Uh, he's he's participating in life more. I'm uh, I'm back to dosing some some uh, worms and stuff. I thought someone was gonna come in the door behind me. And uh, yeah, we're just giving giving them another another pair cleanse gut pair cleansing and uh, see if that fixes them up. I think he's just still on the mend, but he's back, you know, he, you can see him there, he's moving around now, he's he's doing normal fish stuff, he's not staying perched here like he was for the last couple of days, so I think the uh, gut-loaded foods uh, 
fixing them up and I'll continue doing that. Like I said, he eats well. All my fish are eating, so when you have fish eating well but acting weird, uh, it's, that's when you, you gut load some meds because it's more cost effective, really. You try that first. And if that's not getting you the results, then you drop them in a, in a tank and you, 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 you dose the water column. You drop them in a small tank and dose the water column. Save money that way. Um, but a lot of times, uh, as long as you watch them and you make sure they're getting a, a good amount of medicated foods um, uh, and, and they're eating right, you can, you can clear, clear things up a lot, a lot of times that way. Certain foods, you can, certain meds you can put in food and other meds you can't, so you also got to be really careful about what you're doing there. Um, Fred's Pear Cleanse works really well for gut loading a med, and it covers a lot of problems at the same time. So it's a good way to, uh, even if your fish are feeling great and you just, I don't know, like, or you see a small problem come along and you haven't cleanse their guts for a while it's always it's always good just to just give them a little clean up make sure no one's got a festering parasite kicking around multiplying in their gut and uh, so I definitely had a couple weight loss fish in the last few weeks while I was dealing with this uh, cloudy eye and again it only ever affected the German stinker discus uh, that I have, and they look like this. So only these fish were affected by this problem, and uh, the bulk of them are fully recovered, and a couple of them looking a little skinny because their immune systems were fighting, right? So uh, their bellies are getting back to normal, and uh, we're keeping an eye on things. These stinkers, uh, I've had uh, very experienced discus keepers tell me uh, they couldn't keep this particular line alive for for even a year. So I picked these up as babies last August, and uh, I can see why um, even they struggled because uh, it's it's a weak, genetically weak strain, as far as I'm concerned. That's probably why they stopped selling them. And the sad thing is, this is like, I got these from a local guy, and he imported the parents of these fish from Germany. And he paid $1,100 to fly eight the size of this guy over the ocean and uh, into his tank, you know, shipping and, and the cost of the fish and everything. Eight fish, $1,100, and uh, he didn't have eight um, or, four, you know, a bunch of breeding pairs when I got there. He had one breeding pair left, and they produced my fish, and then he sold me, uh, I guess, you know, his uh, C-grade fish, I think that's what he did. But I was a noob, and I just said, oh, that's a good deal, and that's a good line, and I, and I jumped all over it, so... Um, and of those fish, I managed to save, I think I'm seven or eight now, and I, I think it's eight, I have eight, and there were 14 originally. Um, and uh, I just, they're, they're weak. I don't have problems with my other strains, it's just, and I wasn't having a problem with these guys for a while either, and like, uh, but uh, yeah, like you do something simple, like drop a couple plants in your tank, and they're like, oh my god, immune system fail. So, it's, uh, it's been an interesting experience, like, you know, if it had happened to them all, uh, but when it's just happening to that one particular line, and even a couple of them in that line were never affected. Uh, they, they, they were, I guess, born stronger, so, you know, no one disease kills everything, right? And that would have been true in this case, but nobody has died, knocking on wood again, and I think we're in the clear at this point. I just got fattened a couple of them back up, and they'll be good, they'll be good to go. Plants are looking great. 
barrel system is working good. Again, I'm, I haven't linked it in yet. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that. Although everything is going very well downstairs, um, I'm reluctant right now. So we're just going to keep doing 110 gallon water changes at a time. That's an improvement in, in itself. And, uh, and keep the ball rolling. Look how fast this orange guy's grown. He's, he's a little tightened. Had him what three months tops. It's just insane how fast he's growing. And the new one, uh, the new snow leopard discus is even. I, I predicted he was going to be a fast grower based on how he eats, and sure enough, he's he rocking the world. That's a beautiful fish right there. Our new white one. He was uh, particularly small when I brought him home, uh, and he is a fussy eater, but he'll eat lots of bloodworm and lots of brine shrimp, so um, considering his size, that's probably good enough for now. He, uh, he poops clean and he participates and he's not a, he's behaving like a healthy discus, so I think we're going to be just fine. I can't wait to see him as an adult, have a nice big, big white one in there, bright, bright white. And uh, that yellow one is no should fade in time. So that's uh, he's a great fish, and Ely, of course, just just loves it. He's the only eel in the tank. Doesn't want to be with any other eels. Thought thought he might like a friend, but no territorial kill the other guy. So that one's downstairs now. And we're just going to end it there. Because I could sit here and film these fish all day for you if I wanted to. Or, I mean, if, yeah, if, if I let myself. So, but, uh, there they are. I'm getting back to a normal looking happy, happy tank. Uh, I should be live streaming, but I'm too busy. I just uh, haven't had the time. We'll get to it soon, folks. And I'll be sort of moving the camera around now to a little bit of discus tank, a little bit of downstairs tank, a little bit of Oscar tank. Uh, we'll start also uh, recording some maintenance so you can see how I do things uh, step by step. And uh, got to get back into showing you some more of my feeding sessions because uh, it's always fun to watch these fishy it really is so uh, if you haven't subscribed please consider it um, and uh, don't forget the old like button comments are always appreciated and I always uh, do my best to to reply um, I'd say I reply probably about 98% of the time and then sometimes I'm just I might miss it for a couple days and then I get the other 2%. So um, hang in there and uh, keep your sticks on the ice. Have a great day.